It's your girl Castellani, and today I will be showing you guys three different space bun styles. So let's get into it. So starting off, we're just gonna make a zigzag part. I personally like how raw and imperfect this uh, way I'm doing it. The way that I'm doing it now is, girl, I don't know what I was saying just now. But if you want a more easy way to do it, definitely make a middle part first and use the middle part as a guideline for your diagonal parts to make the zigzags. So yeah. And then I'm just going to use a bobby pin to hold the hair that's in my way out of the way so that my parts can stay clean because I am doing this by myself. But yeah, if you want that clean, sleek look, um, start off with the middle part and then do it that way i just do not like that way y'all know i do my own thing in my way so yeah So now that we have our two sections, I'm just going to put one away so I can focus on slicking that side. And I'm just going to use the good old faithful eco style gel, the olive oil one. And I'm only literally using this to style up my hair. Um, I have 3B3C hair, so I can just use this product and it works well for me in the wintertime though because I can't use this in the summertime. It's way too hot and my hair will not stay. This does not hold to nothing in the summer. Um, but in the wintertime, yeah, I definitely can just use this. And then I'm just going to take a hard, not really hard, but a stiff bristle brush. It doesn't have to be too hard. A little stiffness works. And then I'm just going to use that to smooth out the hairs and brush up everything and mold the ponytail where I want it. So when my hair is curly, I like to do this style of bun. I just wrap the ponytail holder around and around until I can't go more. I can't go anymore. <laughs> and then on the last loop, I don't pull the hair all the way through. I just leave it a little so that way the curls hang on the end. And it just creates this big fluffy curly bun that I love. So whenever my hair is curly, this is the bun style I like to do. I don't really do anything else because it makes my hair is a little cool. It's not super thin, but it is thin. Oh, I'm using this edge wax, but I use more anyways. But yeah, so because my hair isn't that thick, um, this type of bun makes my hair look so fluffy and full and I love super big messy looks so yeah and then I'm just using that edge wax again just to you know slick these baby hairs and I like to go in the C motion I always brush it like diagonally forward never just straight down so that's how you get that nice scoop. so yeah before I do the other side I'm just gonna be sure to take out all my baby hairs so that way when I put the gel I don't slick up my baby hairs and ruin the sleekness so yeah I'm just putting the gel on all the dry areas and slicking it. I don't know why I left that little frizzy piece in the back, but I'm gonna add gel and slick that up later, so do not mind that. Just add gel or whatever your favorite uh, styler is for your hair. Definitely use it. But for me, Eco Styler works perfectly fine. And I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy girl when it comes to my hair, so. I am not the girl who's going to be using 10 products now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just doing the same exact thing on the other side. Brushing it, molding it where I want it to be, which is like the top of my head. And then the, wrapping the ponytail, holds it around until the last loop and not pulling it all the way through. And I'm just going to spread the bun, pull it apart, fluff it out, and sh you know, make it look cute or whatever. You know, it's not difficult at all. It's super quick, super easy. And then I'm just taking that same edge wax and brushing my baby hairs down. And yeah, girl. Super quick and mad easy. Like, and look how nice this looks. Make sure you do the baby hairs because the baby hairs is what make it a look. You feel me? So don't forget that.
Yeah, you guys, so this is hairstyle number one, space buns, with his exact part and baby hairs. Bomb. Period. If you like this hairstyle, comment down the number one with a white heart. So yeah, on to the second hairstyle. We're just going to take this down. This hairstyle, we will be doing a swoop, but for the life of me, girl, I cannot remember. <laughs> Which part? Like, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I was still like, wait, <laughs> girl. <laughs> then I remembered it was on that side. So what you're gonna do is create a C-shaped part. So the end of the part is gonna end just before the middle of your head. Not exactly in the middle, but right before it. And then once you get that C stopping at the middle, you're just gonna part straight back. So this will be our two sections. I'm trying to show you guys the shape. It's just straight back in the middle and then the C in the front. So after I have my two sections, I'm just gonna put that away, of course. And then with this smaller section, I'm just gonna work with that because it's easier and I'm just gonna use the comb to smooth everything out. Then I'm gonna apply my styler, which is the Eco Styler Gel. And then I'm gonna smooth it and brush it. Now, when it comes to the front, I'm gonna swoop it down because this is gonna be low buns. So we're just gonna swoop it and make sure everything nice is nice and neat. And of course, we're gonna use the same fluffy bun, fan bun method that I did for the first buns. You can choose your style of buns, whatever you, you prefer, but this is just my preference when my hair is curly. So I just, once again, on the last loop, didn't pull it through all the way, and then I spread the bun out, and it gave me that fluffy, you know, look. So because we, I'm having my soap, I'm just going to comb those baby hairs back because I won't be needing them. And I'm just going to map out where I, and how I'm going to do my swoop. Um, this, I, I thought I could do it this way and just lay it with the gel, but that is just too hard. So eventually, you're going to see me section that section off into two sections right here i'm just you know trying my way out just to show you guys that it's not gonna be as seamless if you just try to stick this way okay so yeah here's where i'm creating the two sections so i'm just gonna create a small uh rectangle part in front of my hair you know going from eyebrow to eyebrow it, doesn't, it could be smaller than that honestly it doesn't even have to be that wide but that's just what i chose to do and then first i'm gonna lay the bottom section of hair down into the ponytail and then after i'm gonna mold my swoop into the ponytail So now I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and, you know, smooth out that section. And I'm going to take my brush again to further smooth it. I'm just going to tuck it behind my ear, apply more gel as needed, but I'm just going to try to brush it and mold it how I want it first. As you can see what I'm doing. And then how I'm going to secure it is I'm going to have a bobby pin or actually and if you don't have a bobby pin, you can just use a scrunchie like I did. But I said bobby pin because normally I do use a bobby pin or one of those um, clamps. You know those clamp clips that they look like uh, alligator teeth with the alligator teeth like? So yeah. But yeah, now I'm just going to swoop the baby hairs into that other side of the ponytail so it could look like, you know, one. And seamless and I'm gonna smooth out the swoop and yeah honestly I don't like my hair to be too perfect so I'm okay if it doesn't look like super flat and you know if it's not a perfect you know get what I'm saying like I don't know I'm mad nonchalant when it comes to my hair I like the messiness just 
keep that in mind so yeah this is how the second hairstyle like, came out super bomb super cute i love it like girl don't mind a little extra piece up mind your business you know i cannot see the back of my head but that part was straight though <laughs> so yeah now for this third style it's pretty much just like exactly like what we just did but except for low buns the buns are high so i'm just gonna section that front section out again see this is a thinner section than what i used before um i wanted my soup to be kind of deep so that's why i did that and i'm just gonna you know extend that part from the back up more just so it's less of a headache and also that way i can sit my buns higher on the top of my head so yeah so as you can see i still made that same little rectangle box section for my leave out and then i'm just going to use my brush to smooth out the hairs and brush everything up so we can create those high space buns again and add more gel as needed of course if you feel like um you're having trouble with laying it down i just add more gel i don't know if that'll work for you but if you have my texture here maybe you could try it and see if it works so yeah of course i'm just pulling not pulling the bun through on the last loop that's how i get that look just in case you guys didn't remember but and you like i said before you don't have to do this out of bun you can do what you're used to And once again, we're gonna, you know, section off that soup so it doesn't interfere with our bun. We're gonna gel up and mold up the bun first. And then we're going to mold the soup into the bun. So now for the swoop, I'm just going to add more gel. Be very generous with the product. I'm very generous with the products when it comes to my hair. So I'm just letting you know I cheat. It's a lot of gel I'm putting in this hair, you know. So just letting you know that it's not. It's like I'm literally using it to mold my hair. So yeah. You see here's the little clip with the little clamp things I was talking about that I use. And then you can use bobby pins just to hike up that swoop. We're just gonna fix our little baby hair, swoop it into the bun like always, you know, make, every, make sure everything looks neat. Definitely hit this with some got to be glue free spray, a lot of it. Remember, generously, if you want to lock in this style after you apply your gel, though. so that way you can really hold it and then tie it down after. I'm just not doing that because you know, this is a video and I switched it up three different hairstyles. But if I was to do this to go out. I would definitely spray it with Gots to be glue free blasting spray and tie my hand on the scarf. And then I'm just adding this butterfly clip for accessories. You can add any type of accessories for these hairstyles. I just did it for filming purposes, but yeah. This is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite hairstyle if it's one, two, or three. Give me a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at Ashley Yanni. And I'm going to see you guys. Bye.